new this morning, we're getting a first look at a new tool police could soon be using. It was only two years ago when Local 6 aired the very first news stories about police body cameras. <laughs> Few had heard of the technology in 2013 when UCF police released this video of officers searching for a gunman in a dorm. In the short time since then, about a dozen Central Florida law enforcement agencies have purchased body cameras with more on the way. This new equipment has meant new rules on how to use it. And I think it's something that we really knew, need out on the street to protect our officers and the public. When the Orlando Police Department first began testing out body cameras last year, it quickly put together this policy, which is currently being revised. It states that body cameras may be activated whenever the officer feels its use would be beneficial. Compare that to the Daytona Beach Police Department's much more specific policy, which orders officers to begin recording when exiting your vehicle to conduct any police service. Officers who don't could face discipline. You push the button in the center twice to activate it. When the West Melbourne Police Department began using these body cameras just a few months ago, officers were instructed to turn them on while handling calls for service and tactical activities, such as searches for suspects. But supervisors understand that's not always possible. There are going to be times when an officer's safety is in jeopardy and they immediately resort to their training which is to defend themselves. In West Melbourne, police are required to inform citizens about the cameras, particularly when officers enter private homes. At the first reasonable moment, we, sh we notify the people that they're being recorded. If a police officer can go inside someone's home, so can't the camera. Under Orlando's proposed policy, officers would not be required to tell people about the recording. However, like other agencies, OPD wants citizens to feel comfortable talking to police. If the individual asks to have the uh, body camera deactivated. We will in fact do that, but we will also say that on the camera that it was deactivated at the request of the person. When officers upload their video to a computer at the end of their shifts, policies dictate who can review it. Only certain people have access to the videos. Uh, mainly our evidence custodian. The biggest challenge we have is the rights of privacy for the individuals that are uh, on camera. The governor just signed a new law that prohibits police from releasing body camera videos that were recorded inside homes, medical facilities, or other places where people expect privacy. It also requires agencies to hold on to these videos for at least 90 days.